Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you a fun and quick effect on how to create some camera shake in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is going to be what we're going to be doing right here. You can see without it, it's just a shot fire. There's not a lot of, of strength behind it, but with it, we have ourselves a lot more strength with each one of these shots. It makes the motion feel like it has a, a visual punch. It's a good storytelling inlet. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First things first, I went ahead and grabbed some footage from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service where you can get an unlimited amount of stock footage for just a monthly fee. So all I did was do a quick search and I found a great clip to work with. So check out the link in the description if that interests you. First thing, I imported that, and now we need to go and actually create ourselves an adjustment layer. Down here, you go to adjustment layer with the new. I have one created. I'm going to drag and drop that on to the very front. We can zoom out to make sure that we actually get this over the whole thing. We are now going to go into our effects. We're going to look for two effects here. We're going to look for transform, so I'll drag and drop that one on first. And then we're going to look for the directional blur. So that's going to be under video effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur. Then we're going to go down to the bottom here. And we'll just find a spot. For example, I mean, where the gun goes off is a good place to build this effect. I'll go right when the smoke starts coming out. We're then going to bring this blur length up a little bit, about to 20-ish, 15 to 20, somewhere around there. And I'm going to make this direction 90 to make it go left and right. Now, we have a little bit of edge bleed here where we're actually sucking away sort of the, the edges here. So to fix that, I'm actually going to use the transform and bring the scale up to about 104 to sort of fill those edges in. Also, this is going to make the effect pop a little bit more because the video is going to come at you with the blur. So the next step is we're then going to zoom in and I'm going to go ahead and click the control or the C key, the cut tool right here to make a cut. Uh, if you click the V tool, it switches back C and V are next to each other. So it's very convenient. I'll then delete this side, move forward one, create another little cut and do the same thing. And I can just delete this off the back end. So now we have our quick sort of fire right here. Now, what I find is that if you blur the entire image, it looks like you're blurring the entire image a lot of times. So what I like to do is blur sort of where the action isn't happening, or reverse where the action is happening, sort of play around with it to see what's best with your scene. But take a look at this. If I go down here into the directional blur, and I just quickly create a little mask here, I'm going to go to 25%, just so I can see what I'm doing here. And all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut out from the gun backwards to be blurred, but the front is gonna stay nice and in focus. So we're gonna then go back to the fit here. There's a clear line here, so let's actually go to our mask real quick, and we're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of feather in there. Yeah, there we go, now it like sort of, it's a lot cleaner. Now when we do it, I feel like by blurring the back, it sort of feels like the motion is happening, and then the right side here, the action that you're like, sort of interested in, you can still see. And I know we're only talking one frame here. I just feel it adds that extra little realism to it. If you want to make the effect a little stronger, go ahead and just hit Control C to copy this and then Control V to paste. Make sure you have video two selected. If you have video one, it's going to paste it down here. So just right there, Control V, just one frame of nothing. And it's going to add that sort of like double tap power to it whenever he pulls the trigger. Boom, just like that. Now, if we want to copy and paste it throughout, we do the exact same method. Go to the next gunshot. Go to right where the smoke starts. Control V that in. And now we have ourselves another burst. And I believe there's one more in this clip right there. I'm going to Control V that as well. And there we go. So that is how you can add a little bit of motion, a little bit of flair to your action scenes. It just makes it feel, like I said, it's a storytelling element. It makes it important when there is action and it's also affecting our view into that action. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you'd like to learn more tutorials like this in a course-based way where you can basically learn all of these and become a master of the effects tab and of Premiere Pro, check out the link in the description below. I have a course that I created. It's a great course that goes through so many different effects in a nice ordered manner. Thanks everyone. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos similar to this one. I make a lot of different videos on Adobe products. And until next time everyone, see ya.